How to print and mail using the Service Bureau. This tutorial will show you how to generate an upload to send to the Service Bureau for printing and mailing to recipients. 1099 Pro would like to notify all customers that, as of tax year 2020, the IRS has a new tax form called the 1099 NEC. Generally speaking, the IRS has moved Box 7, Non-Employee Compensation, from the 1099 Miscellaneous Tax Form and placed it on its own individual tax form, the 1099 NEC. If you are reporting non-employee compensation, then it is highly likely that you should be using the 1099 NEC tax form. For tax year 2021, the 1099 NEC will participate in the combined federal state filing program. Through this program, the IRS electronically files original and corrected information returns to participating states for approved filers. For a complete explanation of 1099 NEC reporting details, cs.1099pro.com. Only the states listed as Y or Yes are supported by the Service Bureau. Any state not listed will not be reported or charged, even if that state has a reporting requirement. If you are not reporting non-employee compensation and are still utilizing the 1099 miscellaneous, we recommend that you review the form as the IRS reorganized and renumbered many of the boxes. By this step, you should have imported your data and then ensured your information is accurate, called the Service Bureau and made two separate appointments to print and mail to recipients and e-file to the IRS. Under the second step titled Printing and Mailing, click on Via the Service Bureau. If you would like the Service Bureau to print, mail, and e-file your forms to the IRS and eligible states, click on the Printing and Mailing or E-Delivery Upload button located at the top left of your screen to initiate a helpful wizard that will guide you through the upload process. Please note there is also a new option titled Filing with the State Upload at the top middle of your screen. This option only supports 1099 NEC state direct reporting for original tax forms and select states. For our example, we will click on Printing and Mailing or E-Delivery Upload. After carefully reading the informational screen, click on the Check for Updates button to ensure that you are running the most current version of your software. If there is a software update, please apply it before proceeding. The IRS requires that you have a unique account number on every form. If you don't already have account numbers, simply press the Start the Generate Accounts Wizard button at the bottom of the screen. If you already have account numbers, please disregard the next few steps. Read the first information screen, then press Next. You can select which filers you would like to generate account numbers. For this example, we will leave the default option selected. All forms for all filers. Press Next. Confirm the settings and press Finish to create account numbers for your filers. A pop-up window will appear telling you how many forms were scanned and account numbers generated. Press OK. Press the Begin button at the lower right corner of the screen to continue. In the next screen, select the filers you wish to upload for. You can choose all of my filers, your current filer, or selected tagged filers. Next, pick form types. The choices are all form types, your current form type, or the selected tag form types. The Service Bureau suggests selecting all of my filers and all form types if you are ready to send all of your records for printing. This action will grab everything at once in one easy upload. Select whether you are sending originals or corrections. Please remember that forms are only considered corrections if they have already been filed to the IRS and you are submitting a second corrected file. Choose which upload action option you will be using. Additional information may be required if you are choosing anything other than print and mail the forms. Make sure you have spoken to our Service Bureau if you are opting for electronic delivery or web presentment. In this example, we are going to choose I request immediate filing with the IRS. A pop-up window will appear discussing immediate printing and filing. Please read the window carefully. Press Yes, I do want immediate filing. 
The Use CFS for All Filers is automatically checked for you. This option allows you to participate in the Combined Federal State Filing Program. The Combined Federal State Filing Program is a federal program where the IRS forwards certain 1099 record types to participating states so they may also receive the data. For more information, please look up the Combined Federal State Filing Program on our website. Step 7 will be visible below to add state direct filing of all 1099 NEC forms to eligible states for an additional fee. If you are only printing and mailing forms with the Service Bureau, you can select to skip forms with zero dollar amounts under thresholds. This option will ensure that forms without dollar amounts are not selected in the process. Since we are immediately e-filing, the option is not available. Enter or edit your contact information. Select your printer. Since we have selected to immediately file our 1099 NEC forms with the IRS, or had you selected all form types, which includes the 1099 NEC form, a seventh step appeared. The option provided in step seven allows you to save time by submitting your data for direct filing to all eligible states all at the same time. Check this option to have 1099 Pro submit your 1099 NECs to each eligible state for an additional fee. Let's press the question mark to review important information. A pop-up window will appear. Please read all the information. The 1099 NEC State Direct Filing add-on does not support every state and filers may still have additional filing requirements after 1099 Pro reports the 1099 NEC data. Press the link to visit our Service Bureau 1099 NEC Reporting Details webpage. Here we are providing as much information as we can to help you fulfill your state filing obligations. Make sure to scroll across the spreadsheet all the way to review all the notes. It is still your responsibility to report 1099 NEC filings to states that are not eligible to our service. If you would prefer to create your own state files and report them directly to the state, you can utilize our enterprise software. Please be aware that you would then be responsible for researching which states you must report the 1099 NEC to, creating taxpayer accounts with each state to file electronically, creating and submitting the required 1099 NEC information to each required state in the correct format, confirming slash verifying that your submissions were both received and accepted with each state. Press go back to the wizard when you have finished reading all the information. At the bottom of the screen are some extra options that you may want to adjust. TIN masking is used to mask the recipient's social security number. If you would like all social security numbers to be masked on your forms, click this button and choose Mask All Recipient SSN and EIN. The benefit of this option is for added security for your recipients. Masking the social security number will only show the last four digits of the recipient's SSN. The default setting displays all digits of the SSN or EIN. Error scan will scan your data for common formatting errors. The extra print options allow you to print a message on your forms for corrections and copies. The folder button allows you to select where your upload will save to. In most cases, you will want to save your upload to the default location. Click on Create File when you are finished. A pop-up window titled Submit a Service Bureau Upload will appear with options that must be completed in order to submit your upload. Please note that if you check the Step 7 State Reporting add-on option, the first upload's totals will pertain to your IRS printing, mailing, and or e-filing. After the upload is complete, a second upload will automatically start that will process your 1099 NEC state direct reporting, which is likely to have different totals than your IRS amounts. Click on the View Control Totals Report button under Step 1. Your report will appear in a new window. Please read the instructions on the first page carefully. Then confirm your totals on the following page or pages. Now close the window. If you do not agree with the totals, you can press Cancel at the bottom of the screen. You can save a copy of the report to your computer by pressing Save Control Totals Report to selected location. 
You then need to re-enter the total number of forms you are uploading under Step 2. Select your preferred upload method. The Service Bureau suggests the default option, built-in HTTPS Secure Transfer, to securely send your data to the Service Bureau over the Internet. If the first method fails due to your Internet firewall, we suggest you try the second option, built-in FTP using the Internet. If you choose Manual Transfer, you are going to be prompted to choose a location where a file will be created that you are going to have to send to us via our FTP website. Please call 866-444-3559 or email to sb at 1099pro.com for instructions. Make sure you have selected the correct printer. Now that you have verified that your control totals are correct, type in your name as a digital signature for the printing and mailing of your forms. You are now ready to complete the upload process. Press Upload My File at the bottom of the screen. Another window will pop up informing you the file was uploaded successfully. Press OK to continue. Your confirmation sheet will be immediately printed. You will now be able to see your uploaded session listed. Notice that the status of your print, mail, e-file session is listed as done. Since we selected the add-on option to report our 1099 NEC forms to the applicable states, the same Submit a Service Bureau Upload window will reappear in order to get your separate approval for e-filing to the states. This is necessary for the Service Bureau to provide the states with a separate digital signature for the state reporting of your 1099 NEC tax forms. Please repeat the previous steps to complete the page. Please note that only 10 of our 12 records are being filed to the states. Different control totals like this can be for a number of reasons such as some 1099 NEC forms are not in states that require direct reporting, some 1099 NEC forms are in states that the Service Bureau does not support, some 1099 NEC forms are below the state-specific thresholds and are not required to be reported. Please be sure to review the Service Bureau 1099 NEC state reporting limitations to see if you have any extra required actions on your part. If everything looks good, press the Upload My File button again. Another window will pop up informing you the file was uploaded successfully. Press OK to continue. Another confirmation sheet will be immediately printed. You will now be able to see your uploaded session listed. Notice that the status of each of your state filing sessions are listed as done. Finally, our Service Bureau will contact you once your forms have been received and processed. Thank you.